Hi folks, this is Rod. What do I mean with the title of this video, Dream Theater vs. The Police? I want to show you how John Petrucci might got inspired by this 80s pop band to write some of Dream Theater's classics. But if you are not a subscriber yet, you know what to do, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the new videos notifications. First of all, I want to play a Dream Theater song to demonstrate it for you. Now I'm gonna play one of the most iconic pop songs from the 80s by the band The Police. After playing these two songs, can you see some similarity between them? Both songs were written with the same kind of chords. Those chords are called add 9. It's basically a major or minor chord adding the second note of the key. Petrucci doesn't play the thirds in those chords of Metropolis, though. That makes the chords sus two. What does that mean? It's a chord with suspended third, when the third is replaced by the second. It's interesting to see how Petrucci probably got inspired by Andy Summers, the police guitar player, and how emblematic those kind of chords got in progressive music these days, even though it came from 80s pop music. Even myself, I use those chords in my songs. Check this riff of one of my songs called La Premiere Experience. That's all my friends, I hope you like it. If you want to know more about me, you can check my website www.rodrodriguez.net and if you want to take lessons with me, you can contact me via my email on my website. Thank you so much and see you next time. Be good.